Hey YouTubers, this is Chris the Trucker, Mr. Chris the Trucker. Hey, um, little update here on uh, Andrew's uh, transportation. Um, you know, I sent the application in and everything. I had to put them off for like four times um, because, you know, I um, the uh, uh, the court thing. You know, I had to do uh, jury duty for the court. Um, I got sick, and then a couple other things came up, you know, that were uh, important. Um, and I uh, had submitted my application, well, I had resubmitted it, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue on processing the application uh, a few weeks ago. But when I did, I said, I do have a cold, so if you set up the orientation, make it for the 7th of uh, November, that way I'll be over the cold, should be over the cold by then. And um, this is okay, no problem. So they called me uh, last week, I think it was, and told me, oh, hey, we got you all approved, uh, got you ready to go, uh, call me back to get you down here, um, leave on Sunday, get you down here on a Monday, and I'm 23 hours, basically at one full day. Uh, well, you know, 24-hour period bus ride on Greyhound to get from Running, California to uh, St. George, Utah. Okay. So anyway, I um, had called them uh, and told them, look, I can't be there until the let the message in. I couldn't be there until the seventh. Um, told them to call me back. They never did. So uh, I finally got in touch with person in, in recruiting and oh well we resubmitted your application for review again because you put us off four times and uh, don't know you know we, we're, we're trying to reevaluate if we really want you or not you know because we need drivers well I told the person that hey look you know I had a cold I didn't see any sense of getting on the truck with the cold, you know, um, and then having to tell this that, so I can't take this load because I'm sick, you know. So, um, and then they, they brought up, well, then you had jury duty, and I said, well, jury duty is the law, you got to comply, you got to do it, you know, there's no way out of it. And then they said, well, we understand that. Well, they obviously don't understand. You know, they're not caring people. They don't care. Uh, it's, you know, in my book, everything that I've read bad about them, I'm beginning to wonder if that's all true because, uh, you know, they obviously don't care. I mean, the attitude that I got on the phone today with them was an attitude that they just don't care. They don't care. So, if that's the case, I'm going to reevaluate whether I want to be with a company who don't care or not. You know, because now I'm beginning to wonder if they did call me back and say, hey, well, okay, yeah, we, we're going to go ahead and go with you anyway. Um, and, and then I decide to go with them and get out there to orientation. They can say, oh, gee, well, we don't want you for this reason and send me back home. So i got to pay out of my pocket $154 and up to get back home, you know, on my dime. So it's a waste of my time, waste of my money. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of reevaluating, seeing whether, whether I want them or not. You know, I just, uh, I'm afraid, you know, that would happen. Or if that don't happen, I get on the truck, I'm out there, I'm working, I don't get my advertised home time like they advertise you out 10 days and you're home for a day and a half. Well, that's fine with me. That's, you know, okay in my book. But, you know, I'm just afraid I go out there, I'm busting my butt. I get, you know, hardly any home time that they advertise I was getting. And then when Christmas comes around, uh, which is coming soon, I'm not going to be able to come home and spend with my family, you know, the day and a half or two days with my family for Christmas, and they get back out on the road. I'm sure they're going to say, no, you can't have Christmas time. Well, you know, in my book, that just don't fly. Because last Christmas, I was sitting up there 
uh, at the Covenant Terminal in Chattanooga, the main terminal in Chattanooga, on Christmas Day. Um, the day after Christmas, I get a phone call from my aunt in um, in uh, Ridgecrest, California, um, stating that my grandfather had passed away um, that day on Christmas Day. So or on the day after Christmas. So, uh, and he was uh, 93, I think. And uh, I just, um, you know, I tried to get back on the covenant, but because I had those accidents, now they don't want to hire me back. So, my only option right now is to either try and get on with the local driving job here, or go ahead and get my passport to get on with Prime. But see now, if I get my passport, right, with Prime, I apply for it in November. I get it in, let's say, December. I don't want to go with Prime, be out on the road for, let's say, two weeks, three weeks, and say, hey, I need Christmas Day off. Now, what company is going to say, oh, you, you only started, you know, and been with us three weeks and you want Christmas Day off. Well, we need you on the road. Sure that I need you on the road. They got merchandise to get moved. So, you know, I rather, I rather wait to go with the company like uh, Conway. And if I have to go through refresher course, see if I can do it through them, or maybe through another company, or maybe even get back on with Covenant. I don't know. See what kind of deal I can work out with them. Uh, getting back on, doing teams, going through retraining course, refresh course if I have to. I don't care. You know, whatever I got to do, that's fine. Um, but I'm going, you know, when I give with the company, I'm going to stick with the company. I want to be out there on the road and deliver the products to get my time in. What I was going to do with Andrews was get my time in, right? Go about six months, get six months in, and then apply at the same time while I'm out there on the road with another company that's better pay, better company, and. Uh, uh, you know, just better all the way around. And uh, but so far, Anders right now is showing me it's it's a shit company. And they don't give a crap about their employees. So why should I care about them? So um, for all you drivers that want to go with Anders, be careful. You know, um, really check them out first. You know, uh, don't. Do like I did, put them off four times. But I had good reasons why I put them off them four times, and they got all bent out of shape. You know, if you have a family, they should care, because I'm sure they got families too. You know, and I'm sure if they have to go do some of the family, they take time off and go deal with it. 